Hello folks, it's a Sunday message from the Carthas. Today with you is Herman and I am a member of the Cartha movement in Spain. I would like to share with you with the spirituality, with the practice, with the teaching and mysticism of the Catharism of the 21st century, which was renewed by its founder John Bogomil. Today I would like to talk with you about patience as a very efficient spear in the spiritual battle against evil. This virtue in the uh, Katha tree of life is called paciencia. Next to Largesa, paciencia is needed for accepting your neighbor as brother, as friend. The long patience. When we see a manifestation of paranoid rampage, fatal malice in a person, you need to be sober with him, not emotional, but spiritual. This is a great principle of long patience. Yes, one must keep patience for a long time until a person comes to his senses, until the poisonous uh, candle of evil is extinguished in him. In Katha spiritual practice, the long patience doesn't exist uh, in itself as just patience. Uh, Catharism, as we understand, it is a different vision, a new vision of man. And here, in the long patience, we need a special new vision, which, as I said, consists of sobriety and mercy. Uh, the over-merciful soberness, we can call it. What is its relevance? Let us suggest we are only sober. It is, um, we see soberly, we distinguish good and evil, so what? We focus on the evil of our neighbor, uh, we can accept him, we can't accept him, unfortunately, and we don't know how to win over evil in him. Evil can be defeated only by love, patience and mercy. Now, let us say we are deprived of, de deprived of sobriety and full of mercy. We are well aware of the religious speculation on the theme of mercy. Can one do only with mercy? No way. We will thereby indulge low actions and passions of people if we simply say be merciful, tolerance, patience, if we do this, we will encourage the spirit of beast, of the beast in them. This is false hypocritical mercy without sobriety. The sobriety is an open conscience, let us say the shame of the heart. Sobriety and mercy only Christ and Zoroaster spoke about it, and no one else. And today this character is very extremely important for us, because we are all we are opposed to humanoid alternatives, to abolish the conscience on a good will and mind completely, and to substitute it them all them with the prejudices of the rational mind. This, uh, this sober mercy, the quality, virtue, is directly proceeds from the character of the Goddess Virgin Mother. She, as the Mother Wisdom, soberly sees the real state of the humanity close to death, but at the same time she is full of infinite and boundless mercy. This is her vision, this is her language, and we must unconditionally unconditionally uh, learn it. In each one of us she sees 
her potential son, the Christ, and daughter, the bride of Christ. And she gives this vision for us to the same way to see others. But in spite of our mistakes and faults and errors, she continues to give us the image of being Christ. And little by little, when a person feels uh, love of the Heavenly Queen in himself, he starts to change and finally becomes Christ. And uh, this is the only vision of the Goddess Mother, and there is no other vision which she has. Reaching the patience and uh, soul mercy of a merciful soul beneath, alone is very difficult uh, uh, because evil provokes, give blows, draws you into conflict and uh, the light-giving souls as our Catholic perfects they uh, not being in their own but united together help us to um, accept this amazing gift of paciencia uh, in the unity of uh, hearts of uh, pure and good men and women so we need for this more than our own efforts we definitely need uh, unity spiritual unity of good people uh, in which I invite you all. Thank you and uh,